Oh, I'm sorry. One second. It's my Raspberry Pi. It's always texting me, you know? Speaking of which, today I want to talk to you guys about texting through a Raspberry Pi for free. No external services, no extensions that you need to download. One thing that a lot of people don't know about is that every phone number has an email attached to it. There's no such thing as just a number. So you text that number, the number goes to your provider, your service provider, and your service provider matches it to their, their email. So um, I have my company is with Sprint, so my phone number is attached to my number at pm.sprint.com. So every number is attached to an email, and a lot of people don't notice. So you can actually just email your own your own phone number, and it will text you. And today I want to show you guys how to do that through a Raspberry Pi without using anything any external services at all. So the cool thing about this is that. We do not need a GSM module. We don't need a uh, Tello. We don't need anything else. We don't need anything that we gotta pay for. No prepaid plan, nothing. This is a completely free option. And uh, what we'll be using today is a library called Node Mailer. Obviously it's Node.js. Um, and then that's it. We're gonna be using Node Mailer. Um, to find our email, our phone number email, uh, is a little different. So we'll have another file called listen.js which uses mail listener too, and it'll grab your config. Uh, right now, everything is in a config file. This is just in case you want to keep things, you know, a little a little more secret. And you can actually put this in like an environment file so that when you have it on your Raspberry Pi, that it's not so easy to be found, especially if you have a password on your um, Raspberry Pi, which most likely you do. Everything is in a plain text, so even your password, whatever this is saying right here, I don't know what that's saying. But this password is in a plain text file, so if someone were to take it and I didn't change my password, by the time this video is over, you would have my password. Let's first find our uh, email using mail listener. So right here, we're gonna do node listen. Oh, yeah, we're gonna do node listen. Js. Ooh. Oh, there's one thing we didn't do. We didn't npm install all of our libraries that we're using. So let's first npm init dash y we're going to npm install mail listener 2 and we're also going to npm install uh, node mailer so after that's installed you can run node listen.js and then you'll start listening to emails so now we can text our email using a basic email my email is right here for this at least for this um project it's covepytext.gmail.com so we can go text at gmail.com will say something like hey and then on screen give it like a few seconds and you'll see all of this pop up I'm gonna I'm gonna obviously watch this out a little bit so all of this is not being shown but as you can see right here we have this mail from at pm.sprint.com uh, and then we have our phone number right here so that's what we're looking for so we'll copy that Copy that and then clear that. And now we have our now we have our email, our phone number email. And now we can add it to our config, which I'm gonna be doing off screen. We have our email, we have our password, we have our phone number email, who we're gonna be sending it to, which is us. We're gonna send it to ourselves. And then now we can just use Node Mailer. So Node Mailer is gonna have this, this thing called a transporter. This is gonna be where your mail is transferred to. It has the address, it has the uh, protocol. It has the port number, all of that stuff is in here. So since we're using Gmail, uh, we're just gonna pull it straight from our config. And down here we have a from who, we're, who we are. We have a to who we're sending it to, which is in our config. That was the phone number email we just grabbed. Um, we have our subject, our text, our HTML. So, and then we just use this simple method, uh, transporter.sendmail and then it would send the mail. We're gonna type node main.js and now we should be getting a text message on our phone any second. There it is. So we have a hello, a hello world, and then yeah, that's all we wanted. That's all we wanted for our text message. So we have it working now. See, there's honestly not much else to do. We can change this up, we can say, turn this back on we'll say listen no we'll say like comment comment 
and subscribe. And then we'll just put node main.js again. Then we have a confirmation for message sent. So it should be sending in, there it is. Perfect. So everything is working now. It's supposed to be a Raspberry Pi video. This code is gonna work anywhere. Since this node is gonna work anywhere, it's gonna work on your server, it's gonna work on your regular computer, it's gonna work on your Raspberry Pis. Anything that can use node, this is gonna work on for the most part. So now we can put on our Pi and anytime we have something happen, like say I have my cat feeder over there, anytime the cat gets fed, it can send me a text message. Anytime, if say if I had a motion detector, if anytime someone walks in, it sends me a text message. So this is extremely handy for our Raspberry Pis. So yes, now we can finally let our Pis text us when something happens. Uh, we can also text our Pis. We've seen that listen.js file. That listen.js file will get any uh, email sent to us. You'll be able to parse through that email and figure out what the text is trying to say. I actually have a few apps I made using these, using the node mailer uh, for both texting and listening. I may have a demo video in the future. Uh, displaying some of those. I've been using this for like at least two years now. This video is actually supposed to be a lot different this week, but I had a failed experiment that I couldn't find a lot of information on online. So I went in heads first and then I was doing a lot of research and thought I had something figured out, but I didn't and I failed. And so now we have this video for the week. This is a very informational video though. So I'm not saying that this, this was planned in the future. So make sure you like, comment and subscribe and I'll see y'all next time. <laughs>